Today I'm going to show you an app called Pic Collage. I'm going to open Pic Collage and you'll notice I'm at the screen where I can create a new one. So I'm going to click on it and I go into um, a frame. At this point at the bottom left I can click and I can change the background to be any of these backgrounds available. So I'm going to do a dark background. I could also add different frames to make it a strict collage or you can do a freeform collage. Today I'm just going to do a freeform collage. Today I'm going to do a Ben Franklin invention collage. So I have some options when I click the plus at the bottom. I can use the camera of the iPad too. I can add photos for my camera roll but today I don't have any of the photos so I'm going to get the photos from the web. The first thing I'm going to look for is Ben Franklin himself. So I look at all the possibilities and I can scroll down and you'll see many pictures come up. I'm gonna pick a profile. I'm gonna select this picture and click done and he comes out. Now let's say that I just want the outline of him. I don't want the background. I can double click on the picture and I'm going to clip the photo. So I trace with my finger around Ben. I'm going to cut him out from this background. When I'm done, I click the done in the upper right hand corner. And I've taken his um, surroundings out. So you could actually put pieces together to make an animal or just to isolate one item in a, in a photo. Now, I'm going to do a couple other searches for some of his inventions. I'm going to look for the Franklin stove. And I'm going to pick a picture, click done, and you can see that I can move it all around. With two fingers I can turn it, expand or shrink it. I am also going to look for bifocals. Oops, got to delete. Bifocals. Pick a picture. Oh, and I decided that I don't like this picture of bifocals. If you just take the picture and swipe it towards the trash can in the upper right hand corner, it just goes away. So I'm going back. I'm going to pick another picture of bifocals. I like this one better. So I'm going to click done and move it to this side. I also found out that Ben Franklin created the first version of swim fins Although, I'm going down to Swim Fins by Ben Franklin because he used them on his hands instead of his feet. Let's see if I see any pictures like that. Ah, I think that might, there it is. And the last thing I'm going to look for is, he didn't invent electricity, but he did invent the lightning rod. So I'm going to bring that in. So I pick a picture. I'm going to scroll down, get a picture that I like. I like the one with the lightning. Okay. <clears throat> now I have the pictures arranged how I want them. Now I want to add some text. So I can click anywhere on my background to bring the text up or I can click on the plus on the bottom. And I'm going to add text and I'm going to say inventions. Oops. And I'm going to capitalize Ben Franklin. At this point I can move it to the top. If I don't like the red font, I can click the text options when I double click on it 
and I have many options for different fonts and also different colors. I like the red. I can also left, center, or right justify. So I'm going to add some more text and I'm going to type all the items that I have in here. But this time I'm going to change to blue. And same way with the pictures, you can move the labels around as well. I'm going to add text for the Franklin stove. And I like the blue. I need to move that up. We make it a little bigger. I'm going to just tap on the back and type swim fins. Range it where I want. And last but not least, I'll put a lightning rod. <laughs> Got to spell it right here. Okay. And arrange it. Perfect. It's just the way I like it. Now, when I'm done, there's the share out button in the bottom right. So I can give it a name. I'm going to call it Ben Inventions. And you can save it to the camera roll as a picture, or you can send it directly by email. And that's really the easiest way to get it off of the iPad. So I could email it to myself. Send. When it comes up in your email, you just drag it off to your desktop and you'll have, um, have your students pick collage. If you save it to the library, you can always use Dropbox to get it off your iPad. And that's pick collage. Enjoy!